Hi, my name's Nash Clark. I've been at AISVN for two years. I live in District 7, which is 10 kilometres from school. I'm fortunate that I have many options, including my bicycle and scooter, in addition to the school bus. We have an amazing campus here at AISVN, and you're going to see a lot of the facilities yourself, so I'm going to talk about teaching and learning. So at AISVN, we talk about having an innovative international education with Vietnamese values. We are, 90% of our students are Vietnamese, and we're very proud of that. Uh, we think that is an, actually a, a huge strength of our school and we run an IB continuum school. So we run all three programs, the PYP, the MYP, and the Diploma program. One of the things that defines who we are here at AISVN is our commitment to collaborative planning and reflection for all of our teachers, which is built into the schedules. This allows our educators the time and space to get together and to analyze student performance data which in turn informs their planning and decisions about where to take the learning process next. It's really important to us to understand each student at a very personal level to ensure their learning is interesting, engaging, challenging and achievable. And with the students also focused on their personal goals, they too are becoming experts on understanding where they are now, where they need to get to in the future and with their teacher's help, how they're going to get there. We believe that we're here to help our students have a successful future. It's important to us to think about who they'll be and what they know when they leave our care. We think about it deeply and we talk about it and we use our curriculum and our IB programs to scaffold the best learning experiences we can to give them that success. So we have a strong culture of collaboration here at AISVN. We have dedicated learning spaces where our teachers can come together to collaborate, to plan and to organise um, themselves to produce engaging lessons. So our unsung heroes really are our support teams. Uh, they work behind the scenes to make sure that our day runs smoothly. I think we are a close-knit faculty as, as a result of, you know, all the interconnectedness in the elementary school. I think that, you know, we do have a high level of personal and professional respect for each other and that really sort of helps to strengthen the bonds that we have and the collaboration that we have as a result of that is authentic. We don't always agree on everything but we certainly work to, to support each other and find solutions that work that are a best fit for all stakeholders. So here at AISVN, the teachers are uh, given an opportunity each year to apply for professional development. And these can be online or face-to-face -face opportunities. Usually we are given time throughout the school year to share our learning that we've uh, taken away from the PD um, in what we call like teach meets. And so we can get together with other teachers where we share our learning with them and they can also share their learning with us. A great thing about Ho Chi Minh City is that there's a lot of different apartments that you can explore for places to live. For example, if you're a single individual, you can easily find a one or two bedroom apartment that's fully furnished. Um, if you're in a family, you can find three bedroom apartments quite easily as well. Ho Chi Minh City has a wealth of things to do. There are museums, there are eateries, you can get any kind of food from local Vietnamese cuisine to Western food, Indian food. They have steaks to uh, foods for vegetarians, so any kind of diet you can definitely find here. And I think food is one of the most exciting things here in Vietnam. And then besides museums, there's art galleries, there are all sorts of sports events, and you can even join in races. There's 5Ks, there's triathlons, there's all sorts of events if you want to have recreational for yourself or if you want to view. We want to foster leadership at our school and we want our teachers to be self-motivated, but we provide excellent PD opportunities for them. Uh, we're going through our self-study process at the moment and we've got the whole community helping us with that effort. Uh, teachers are stepping up to chair committees and there is lots of opportunities for leadership in our school. Part of the reason that we're doing this is we want to show the students that we have leadership opportunities for them as well. Yeah, we're looking for uh, content teachers who are able to deliver content and language 
uh, at the same time. EAL specialists and content teachers are doing co-planning meetings where we look at data and uh, try to use that to inform our curriculum and our instruction uh, so that when content teachers go into the classroom, they're not only teaching math, but they're teaching math and the language of math, or PE and the language of PE. Uh, and so EAL specialists are hoping to build in those, uh, those language objectives in addition to the content objectives. Teachers that want to be part of a PYP school should really consider coming to AISVN, especially if you're the type of teacher that wants to perhaps move to a new country and experience a new culture, experience um, just a new challenge. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're a good teacher and you'd like to be a great teacher at any point in your career, uh, we'd love to have you on our team. So please make an application and we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.